Some of you go to the farm, you get a real Christmas tree. Others have an artificial one that you use each year. But as Lynn Bowie explains, there's a local business that helps you celebrate the season in a perfectly Baltimore way. Well, this is the Santa loadout zone. In Baltimore, Santa doesn't need a sleigh. And replace the sack of presents with a pile of trees. I can stack them up. Obviously, I can get seven or eight on there. They start stacking up like a little pyramid, then I put two on top. Plus, a backpack full of barbecue? Like, you have to make a catchy saying for your business, and adding the pork sandwich is, you know, catchy. Pork and Pine started in 2011. It's a full pork sandwich and a Christmas tree delivered to your front door anywhere within the vicinity of Baltimore City. And this has become a Charm City Christmas tradition. We've watched kids grow up. I mean, I've got kids that we've seen for the last five or six years. I scared a child this year. I went up and <laughs> was like, I said her name. She's like, oh my God, how do you know my name? From Black Friday until mid-December, Todd Coleman and Mike Santoro spend their Weekends, biking trees around the city, and just getting everybody's joy from seeing Santa Claus. Nobody's mad at Santa. You may remember last year there was a nationwide Christmas tree shortage. We literally couldn't get wholesale trees. I looked everywhere from um, the place we normally get them from is up in Pennsylvania, Strathmire Farms. But we, I looked all the way up from, to Canada, all the way down to Florida, and I just could not get any. Any Christmas trees whatsoever. Forcing pork and pine to cancel their 2021 season. 2021 was pretty sad, definitely a bit of a bummer. But now that we're back, we got trees and we're excited, and hopefully we don't have that kerfuffle again anymore. So pork and pine will be around for a long time. This year, they're delivering 165 Christmas trees. We're going to Canton, Patterson Park, but we have customers all over the city. Hi. How are you? They sold out within days, but it's not about profit. We don't even make any money, really. We just have a good time. <laughs> it's about making memories. So Glass has become a tradition. We missed them last year. We're so happy they're back this year. Spreading happiness. Lots of honks, lots of Santas, lots of ho ho hos. With pork and pine. And it's more than just a delivery service. Like, if you wanted a Christmas tree delivered, you could have that. But what we're bringing is, is an experience, you know? Celebrating the season in a uniquely Baltimore way. It's a very quintessential Baltimore thing. I don't even know that it could exist anywhere else. That is just wow. awesome. Again, they sold out quickly this year, so make sure you follow Pork and Pine on social media if you want to order a Christmas tree next season. Lynn, and I don't know who her photographer <laughs> was, they did an amazing job putting that piece together, first Definitely. and foremost. And God bless them for doing what they do, just making people smile. Exactly, and a workout, all those trees oh, on the bike. Yeah, forget the Peloton, <laughs> they don't need that. All right.